folks at home, the day has finally come to build our backyard pond. We're gonna do a quick before and after. We got some trucks bringing in the aqua blue stone that are about to be delivering. We also have some heavy machinery that's about to deliver, but this is just gonna be a quick before look at where we're gonna build the pond. We got our early morning start up before daylight, offloading all the equipment. Hopefully not waking up the neighbors, but I'm pretty sure we are. Hey Tanner, hey there, <laughs> welcome, glad you made it. Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> is this the man, the myth, and the legend? Nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is going to be exciting, huh? I can't wait. <laughs> it's finally here. Tony. We've been talking. Or, you've been talking a lot with that. Come on, Tony. And, and there's and there's the boss. That's right. That's the boss. Yeah, the star of the show. <laughs> I'm the pond guy, Greg. Nice to meet you too. I'll give you a <laughs> Boy, this is about to really change. Uh, this is my favorite aspect of the project. These aqua blue stones that were shipped in from Wisconsin. They got here first thing this morning at daylight. We got 14 pallets, 24 tons of aqua blue stone. And check these things out. In my opinion, that is the perfect color for building a bass pond. We got some big boys too. The first scoop. Marking it, scoring it out. Smart. So he's going to build the main pond area right here. We're putting the stemmer here, and then it's going to pump the water back up the hill to the waterfall. Waterfall flow right back down into the pond. Got Steven out there digging in the dirt. Nothing but red clay here. All right, folks, we got the best in the business. We got Greg on the left, Ed here on the right. Well, the best in the business, I'm just the handler. <laughs> But as you can see, we got the pond build. We're just getting started with it. Can't wait to see it. We got Liz over here. She's pumped up and ready as well. Yes. So Greg, tell us a little bit about the so business. Did you find us through Paul Cafaro's channel? I did. I found you through Paul. Okay, so Paul's a great kid. We built his pond, geez, I think March. So it's August now. So we built his pond in March. He's been up to Pondemonium and everything else. I'm Greg Woodstock, the pond guy. The pond my guy. My channel is Greg Woodstock, the pond guy. We'll have guy. it linked down in the description. Ed's my top lieutenant. We've been working together for 25 years. Crazy. Director of Field Research and Chief Sustainability Officer. So when I heard that you wanted a bass pond, this is the perfect guy <laughs> to get right. involved in designing it. The man with and, the plan. Uh, yep. And so, geez, we only talked maybe six, seven weeks ago yep. for the first time. And now these are all certified Aquascape cutters. Hey, everybody, give a, a shout out. All of our certified guys. We got Tennessee. <laughs> we got Florida. We got That's what? The heavy Where lifters. You, Alabama. 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 Uh, yeah. Roll Tide. Yeah. Uh, go Bucks. <laughs> go go Bucks. Bucks. Ohio State here. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, we love doing this. So we, this is an, a fully functioning Aquascape ecosystem water feature that really Ed and I developed. So the products that you're putting in here, we first made out of garbage cans oh, wow. and cattle troughs wow. in my backyard as a hobbyist. And then Ed helped me perfect these things. And now today he's my basically the guy that's all about the ecology. So his background and limnology, yeah. Limnology, yeah. Uh, degree in zoology with specialization in limnology, which is a uh, study of freshwater ecosystems. Perfect. Yep. Right. Perfect. Yep. So, uh, so you're going to get, no, so we, we've got Cly Bonnie and Clyde that we're going to go and Clyde, in here. Yep. And are you going to do some other fish as well? I think we are, yep. So I definitely think we exciting. are. Yep. So let's go up here. We'll show it to you real quick here. So we decided uh, a three foot deep pond. Yep. 15 by 20 feet, and then you got about another 15 foot waterfall and stream. Yep. Skimmer will be here. So waterfall the nicest thing here. about this that I'm really excited about is you want to design it from inside the house. And that's this our is master your master bedroom. bedroom. I was just in there looking out, and, I, and the first thing I see is that biofall. So that's the biological yeah. filtration. So Ed, you might want to talk to take it up from there. Yeah, exactly. So what we have um, with an aquascape ecosystem, we have several different components that we have to think about. Um, yeah. One is the recirculation system. So we're going to have a mechanical skimmer filter, which is that unit over yeah. there, which we'll is right they're, there. they're kind of making that watertight right now. <laughs> so they're putting in a series of fittings to make some watertight connections and also to allow us to adapt to our pumping system. So you can see that black tube right there. So that's flexible PVC. It's already buried. The nice it's already thing buried. Is, goes so all the way again, up we have the top. a set construction process that we follow. Um, so the first things that we're going to do when we get to a job site, we lay everything out, we start our excavation, and then we start setting that filter. And the reason we're doing that is as we're excavating and pulling the soil out, we're filling around that waterfall. So we're, we don't want to move the soil multiple times. So we set that waterfall. Once I know that elevation, we start building and terracing everything. 
I hook up my plumbing, we're getting ready to do our skimmer filter, and then we're gonna continue along with the excavation. So the main thing with this is, as I started saying, is we have the mechanical, mechanical skimmer filter, which is gonna keep the pond free of debris. First one was a garbage can, so you can see. We've evolved <laughs> years yeah. garbage can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, we have uh, all types of, uh, you know, good uh, uh, sealing system for the liner. We have an adjustable faceplate that we can play around with the water levels, etc. Sending all that water up to the very top, that's an upflow biological filter, um, which we can talk about that a little bit later on in the okay. day once we get up into that area. Then we're going to have a series of waterfalls that are going to cascade out of that, which is going to create the necessary oxygen as well as the aesthetics that we're looking for. We have all that beautiful uh, aqua blue, stone. blue boulder yep. coming yes. out of northern Speaking Wisconsin. Of that. <laughs> You had to pick the hardest rock <laughs> for your pond. I mean, how many miles? Ed made it happen for me. Like almost 1,400 yeah. miles. 1400, so, and it's a dense stone, too. It's, yeah. a, it's a glacier, yeah. right? So. It is, uh, it's actually, uh, I believe it's Nice, which is a metamorphic rock, so it's very heavy and dense. So it's actually very cool. It's very durable. It'll last forever. All cool. I know is it's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I told my wife. The heaviest rock on the planet. <laughs> so we got 24 tons. 24, 24, tons. 24 tons of rock ship from northern Wisconsin yep. for Bonnie and Clyde. I mean, that's, that's right. a man. That's right. That is I'll take care of my fish. Right yeah. there. And you said that you wanted these blue, because what was your reason? I saw it on your video. Just just making an overall natural bass habitat, really. You know, I wanted it to look like a natural pond. Well, we do too. Um, it's all about exposing more people to what the lifestyle is like. We, we say the average consumer gets three water features, big, bigger, biggest. You guys are going right for the big one. Right <laughs> up that. so that's pretty go cool. big or go home. Looking good. Deeper than your average outdoor pond. All right, so Ed, tell me what you're doing here. So what I'm doing is I'm going around with our laser level. What this is doing, we have the main unit over there. That's the main unit. And it's a self-leveling device. And what it does is it shoots out a laser in a perfectly level plane, gotcha. 360 degrees in all directions. And then this has uh, is the receiver. That's so cool. what it will do is it'll pick up the signal and it'll tell me up or down. Okay. So if you look at this thing, so if you come around that side, it's going to tell me exactly where I'm level. There we go. I hear it. So you hear it beeping. So right now, that's the water level in the pond is right there. Got you. So what I'm gonna probably do is we might come in here and shave these shelves down okay. a little bit. So this will give us a, a level, a visual line. I can go around and see exactly where that water level is at. And then more importantly, so this is for a couple reasons. One, I wanna make sure that we have the proper depth of the fish. Two, we want to have an aesthetic value. We don't want really, really shallow water because that gets really warm. You can get algae buildup, etc. So we want to make sure that we have enough water depth for the different types of uh, plants, for the health of the fish, and then that bottom depth as well. Yeah, so yeah. what I'm doing, we're shooting for three feet of water. So that means I have to compensate for the uh, amount of liner that's going up above water level. So typically, if you have soil up here, um, we want to have our liner all the way up here, but the water level is a little bit below mm -hmm. it. So we want to make sure that that lining is above the water level. So once I know my, my low spot, I can take everything off of that. And then I also compensate for the amount of river rock that's down on the bottom. Okay. We're going to have three inches or so of river rock down on the bottom. So if I want three feet of water, I need 39 inches of excavation <laughs> yeah. to compensate for that. So uh, overall, when everything's said and done, we're going to probably be about 42 inches deep below the existing grade all the way down to the bottom. The only way I can do that efficiently is with a laser with level. With the laser level, yeah. got you. So it is 11.40 in the morning. Yep. So we started this probably about eight, eight, eight o'clock. And look at where we're at. And look at where we're at. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, you know what time it is? Lunch time! Lunch time, all right. <laughs> Assembly line. Everybody on the right shoulder, the right shoulder up. <laughs> hey, there we go. pick something up. All right, Tanner. I'm doing all the heavy all lifting over here to that with my camera. Who's got the? <laughs> you want me to step down in it? And go yeah, go ahead, step down. Look at right these guys working, working together. That's right. Working down, the right side, and then back up. Right. Everybody's got to come in nice and smooth.
What do you think, Liz? She's stopping her up. <laughs> yeah. He got it made right there. Made in the shade. We built him a nice little setup. She finally got on it. <laughs> Go ahead, Liz. Crank it up. And start pushing dirt around. Turtle speed or hair speed? Turtle, yeah, let's go hair <laughs> speed. Liz just told me that Greg's back there taking a nap. Let's go check on him all though. He can't be napping on the job. Hey, come on in. <laughs> hey, napping on the job. <laughs> I was absolutely. Why not in a man cave Look like at him. this? This back is here the, in the cave. I just It's like living in paradise, buddy. <laughs> Greg, I need you to make me a shirt like that. It yeah. looks nice and cool. Aren't these nice? I like the dry fits. So we just came back from uh, getting the plants. Let's see what these guys are doing. Looks like they've been hard at it. What? You don't have the water flowing yet? <laughs> what, have you been taking it easy? It's running. <laughs> Can't you see? Look, look at this guy. It literally so, looks like he took a shower. <laughs> God, you sweat. Hard at work. I like good. it. Oh yeah, coming together nice. Nice, right, look at that stuff. So I was just saying to Ed, it's been a while since he's worked with this rock. This is the rock that he originally used in his backyard pile. I love it. Yeah. Aqua blue. And yours. So this, so all this is is a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. What they're doing right now, how they put these in, strap these rocks, and then you'll put them in place and you might turn it a little bit yeah. because you never know exactly what it looks like until you put it down. All right, Greg's gonna do the honors. This is, always, this is always my job when I'm on the job site. <laughs> <laughs> wash it down the rock. So we're gonna wash it all down and then pump it back out. Like I said, I take the hard jobs. <laughs> you can see it's all starting to come together. It's kind of like playing chess or putting a puzzle together. You gotta put a piece in thinking about five steps ahead. These guys definitely know what they're doing. That's where our waterfall is going to come in, right there over that top rock. Right. All right, so he's going to explain to us how this filtration system works. All right, so you've got two pumps going on in here. You've got one, this is your skimmer, this is, is your mechanical filter. And that's going to pump the water back up to the waterfall. That goes up to the waterfall up top. Okay. That does most of your biological filtration at the top end where it does an upflow through the top. Yep. This side is about your circulation. It helps pull all the debris that lands in the pond, gets it moving over here. So these two being together in the same place creates a better flow coming to one spot. All right, folks, I am exhausted. We have worked from sun up to sundown, but I can honestly say that I'm working with the best pond building crew in the world. Liz is the last one left. All the boys are out eating wings. We're fixing to join them here in a minute, but just look at how much progress we've had in one day. This was nothing but a bare yard earlier today. We dug it out, all the rocks put in place. It really is amazing how they put this puzzle together. So we're gonna be back out here at daylight in the morning, finishing this job up, working a lot on the waterfall and all the features up there on the top. So Liz, I'd say it's about a wrap for today, isn't it? Yeah, we'll just sit here and admire it for now. I can still feel the heat coming off this big bad boy right in here. So hope y'all enjoyed the video. We got Bonnie and Clyde's pond coming really soon. One last thing I want to do is just jump down here just so you can see how deep it is. Because with YouTube videos, sometimes it's hard to see the depth. I'm not going to stand in that because there's standing water, but there's Liz up there. So, I mean, we have a deep bass cave right here. Going to be water flowing through here. Waterfalls coming from there. Spawning areas up here. I mean, it really is going to be an incredible pond when we're done. So, hope you all enjoyed the video. We'll see you all next time. Children.